bites. Good morning, how are y'all doing today? Peace, love, and light. Welcome to Tommy Bites Homestead. So, y'all, I, I transplanted these from where my mom used to live when we moved her into her new place. And I brought these to my house. And I thought that they were going to die, but they have come back. And they have grown. They are really tall now. Like these right here, those were limped over. And now I see that it too is about to bloom. I can't for the life of me tell you what they are at the moment, but I can put it in here. Um, Cause I have an app called Plant Snap and it'll tell me exactly what it is. So isn't that pretty purple? My favorite, favorite color other than teal is purple. Beautiful. So how are y'all doing today? Today is Friday. Um, this is gonna be a quick video because I have to get in a Zoom meeting. Um, for work, educational. Um, so I'm just show you a few things and then I gotta head back in the house. I'll be right back. Okay, right here, I have my cantaloupe, my watermelon, and um, everything was planted from seed, so it is taking a little while. I do need to put the 511 on it. I still haven't gotten the 511 yet, y'all. Um, let me zoom in because I don't, I don't have time to go all the way over there. I just threw that up there. I'm really gonna, I'm gonna take that back down and just let them grow out. Um, but they are blooming, if you can see. And behind it, on that row is the marigold and they have come out as well and bloomed and said hello good morning okay moving on hey y'all so i had already i was editing my video and then i realized i needed to take down the metal piece that i had up and to my surprise, I walked over here because, you know, before I didn't want to walk over here. It pays to walk your garden wherever you have it. So I walked over here and the first thing I spotted. Let's use it on this one. This is my watermelon vine right here. And when I come down to the end, do you see that? Do you know what that is? Oh my God, do you know how happy I am right now to be looking at the beginning of my sugar baby watermelon. I'm so excited. I screamed, my son said, what, what? Cause he came out on the porch talking to me as I was looking at everything. These are my cantaloupes. I have blooms on them, so I'm pretty sure they'll come soon. This is my other watermelon vine. I don't have anything on that one yet. But on this one, I do too. Bam, look at her. Look at you pretty little thing. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I know I sound ridiculous right now, y'all. But y'all just don't know. I, to the point where I'm like... I want to cry because I planted these from seed, y'all, and I'm struggling with this garden, but I'm refusing to give up. So don't give up. Keep going. Keep pushing. If something don't work, try something else. Oh, man. I'm so excited right now. You just don't know. The strawberries are doing great. 
They have been giving me strawberries like every other day. Um, I'm noticing a red berry that I can take off and give to one of the kids because I can't have the strawberry while I'm doing the gun tree diet. The four clocks have really grown since I transplanted them from my sister's house. I mean, it's really getting tall. It's almost at the top of my banister. And they have blooms on them. I just um, planted some lemon seeds in there. I mean, I just planted them yesterday, so I look forward to hopefully seeing a sprout in about 14 days or so. Here, oh my gosh, let me back out. This big boy, well, this big girl, this big girl has really taken off. This was smaller in my other videos. You can look back and see. She was smaller when I got her from my mom's house. And since then, she has sprouted a number of other leaves. This, I'm gonna clip that off. I noticed that yesterday and I didn't get around to it. Over here, there's another one coming in. I, I think I might have to get a bigger pot because she's, she's doing great. She's doing really good. Now right here, these are some okra. I started these from seeds and I started late y'all so I have a long way before I get a harvest I believe from these little things but they are really growing good okay I'm in the backyard now so over here I have my sweet potatoes that I have in a container the blue container and the orange container um, I started maybe two or three of these from starts and the rest were not starts so it is really growing. I need to get a trellis quickly because they are really coming up. Um, yeah, they're really, they, they want a vine. So I need to get a trellis. I had to move them away from the fence because I don't want them to grow. They were growing in between um, the fence. That's, you know, my neighbors and I don't want anybody to chop anything off, so. These right here are doing great. Peppers are not. They are on the struggle bus. I'm just done and over with the peppers in that container. Um, over here, we have a mixture of corn. Um, I don't think I have green beans in here. Corn, cabbage, sunflower seeds, and peppers on the other end. Um, the corn is doing good. I even, you know, I did like in succession planting, I guess is what they call it. Because I started some like a few weeks after I had started the first one. But they are doing great. As you can see. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hello. Oh, look down in there, y'all. Let me see if I can film in. I gotta hurry up. I got a meeting. Now, my cabbage, it wasn't growing, and then it started growing, but it look, it doesn't look good, y'all. It doesn't look good at all. And then my squash is right there. Everything, I started late, so whatever. I'm over it at this point. I'm just gonna keep going. This is my first time doing a garden, so I'm learning what I need to do for next year. And then next year, I won't even be at this house. Hopefully, we'll be in North Carolina. So. Now these peppers, these my babies. Oh my God, they are growing. They are growing. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, they are growing. Over here I have my cucumbers, y'all. I forgot to water them. I watered them yesterday. And cucumbers need a lot of water. And it hasn't rained here. In Columbia, at least on my side of town. My daughter's been getting rain on her side of town. Um, but over here, 
southeast no it'll thunder but no rain will come so they on the struggle bus too do, 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 do. struggle bus i have to show you the good and the bad so i don't know this is bad <laughs> these are my onions um they be on the struggle bus like they on a wreck train you know on a wreck train my collars over here are also on a struggle bus i'm hoping because this is teaching me that i do better my next time around these are also peppers god help them god help them all this is my second raised bed over here hmm. hot flicking mess well what is doing good is my sunflowers they're popping up real good the corn did start coming up good so i appreciate that because they were little for so long and then i started treating them with the epsom salt and stuff i do need to get that uh 511 i think that will help i hope that will help i pray that will help whatever um what else what else what else what else oh these are my okra here they've grown because they weren't even above this little wood piece right here but now they are struggle bus peppers struggle bus peppers struggle bus peppers because i really like hot peppers y'all i'm determined i'm gonna get this right eventually so hang on my struggle garden um i think that's it my pecan tree is doing good she hasn't died yet thank you girl i hope to have some corn though one day one day i hope to eat more than a kernel of corn one day i hope to eat it and enjoy let me stop i just made that up anyway I'll see y'all on the other side of tomorrow. Peace, love, and light. Welcome to Tommy Bites. Thank you for joining Tommy Bites Homestead. Share my channel out. Make sure you like the video. If you didn't like the video, thumbs it down. Let me know. You know, leave me a comment. Give me some advice. Whatever, whatever. Love y'all. Y'all look at my yard. My son and my husband gonna have to cut. They they need to cut. I just hope they don't cut my cucumbers that's sitting over there. I probably shouldn't put them over there, but they need to cut that this weekend for real.